room. I'm addressing you directly today, not just to give the evaluation as to what's happening and uh, to inform you about the decisions being made and possible further steps. I would like to reiterate that Ukraine to us, it's not just a neighboring country. It's a part and parcel of our own history, culture, our soul, atmosphere and space. It's our comrades, our close people, not just colleagues or friends, uh, former colleagues, but relatives, people tied to us with blood ties, family ties. For a long time, the uh, inhabitants of the Western areas, uh, historic ravens, called themselves Orthodox. It was before, prior to the 17th century, when um, those territories uh, were united with the Russian um, uh, state and afterwards. And we believe that, in general, we know everything about that, that we are talking about well-known uh, facts. But in order to understand as to what is uh, taking shape today, in order to explain the actions of Russia and the purposes that we set for ourselves, we need uh, to say at least a couple of words about the history of the subject matter. So I'll start uh, from that, that modern Ukraine is completely was created by Russia. Uh, to be precise, by the Bolshevik Russia, communist Russia. The process started virtually straight away after the revolution of 1917. At that, Lenin and um, his comrades did it uh, very harshly uh, by separating 